Hey everyone, Rick here, and folks, happy 15 year anniversary. Can you believe it? I can't believe that I missed my own anniversary. February 12th, I think it is, if you look at my about page. Now you may be saying, Rick, you haven't been posting videos that long. Well, as a matter of fact, I have. The very next day after I created my YouTube account, I posted the, several videos. They're still on there, they're just private. It was back when I was in high school, filming on this little camcorder throughout the day and wanted to <laughs> post those videos so I still have some old high school videos from 15 years ago 2006 that's insane but anyway so I it's been a while since we've done a little face-to-face -face. I wanted to give you kind of an update and to discuss some super exciting things oh my gosh and here we are decked out in Teddy Fresh Care Bear collab but anyways I'm not gonna, if I go on a tangent, you're just gonna have to bear with me. I am not restarting this thing again. So anyway, 15 years, can't believe it. Thank you all for tuning in, you know, video here, video there, whatever the case may be. Of course, my channel's not monetized. I have no inclination to do that. This was all just for fun, for funsies. And I'm still having fun, though I haven't been for about the past month. So I had an emergency appendectomy on the 8th. That was my sister's 30th birthday. That did not go as planned. <laughs> but yeah, I can laugh now because it's kind of in the... We're, I'm over the worst of it. But oh my god, if you've ever had that or if you've ever had someone who had their appendix taken out, especially mine, I'm not going to go into the disgusting details. <laughs> but let's just say there were some complications along the way. I think we're in the clear now, though. Thank God. But even with insurance, those medical bills pile up. You may be saying, but Rick, then what do you do? Don't forget, I pre-order a lot of stuff. <laughs> this was months ago. Oh my gosh. But no, we're doing good. But now, I just wanted to say hi, but let's take a look at what is down, what's coming down the pipe. So we are going to turn this around so we can now take a peek at the goods. Folks, Boneyard is here. First of all, Boneyard is here. This is my gigantic Wiz Kids haul. And yeah, we're going to be opening these. You know, when I open these kind of Icons of the Realms Wiz Kids figures in the past, I'll do a brick of video. What I was thinking was I was going to do it like usual, you know, brick, brick, brick. And then the last brick, I was thinking about doing a live. Uh, I don't know if I want to put that out there or not, because we may or may not do that. I don't know how that'll work, but we'll see. But let's take a peek at everything else. So we have the, la the first batch of War Machines. I know the glare is terrible, but don't worry. We're going to do separate videos on all of this. Oh, that's right. Just like we did when Warlock Tiles first came out. Um, so we have the War Machines Trebuchet. War Machines Ballista. You know, you can't just have one. Next up is going to be Catapults and what's the other one? I can't remember, but I, I have those pre-ordered too. And then I picked up some of these. These have been out for a while. The Curse of Strahd. Actual packs of these individual figures. Now, of course, I don't have too much knowledge of Dungeons & Dragons, so I just like these figures. You can see I've already pulled some out of there because they're populating the town. But uh, I just like the look of some of these figures. They look fantastic. I also picked up a couple of these encampments, which are absolutely amazing. There's so much stuff in here. Piles of gear, tents, campfires. We got a couple kitchens. Because, I mean, this stuff is my dream. I've been dreaming about this kind of stuff for a while. You know, I actually, and people have been asking me, they've been saying, Rick, when are you going to do the latest Warlock Tiles? When are you going to review or post a video on the latest Warlock Tiles? Folks, I got to tell you, I don't get this stuff for free. I got to pay for it myself out of pocket. So, and of course, with everything going on lately, I haven't been doing a whole lot of in-person gaming, though that's been kind of ramping up here recently, which is why we're doing all of this. But anyways, so yeah, it's just been like, well, I don't really need that stuff right now. But as this stuff has started to come out, I have been gobbling it up. So we have a couple kitchens. We have how many? 
two of the town watch so that's again more npcs oh my gosh we have three packs of the merchants we have of course i had to get the gigantic tower thing um the stone bridge the and i picked up we'll skip that for right now three of the tavern because i want lots of beds and tables torture chamber couple of those three of the marketplaces because i want all of these goods i know the glare is terrible so i don't want to focus too much on that right now again we're going to be doing individual videos of all of it i also picked up multiples of these these are these are older the tombs and traps set why because folks number one the traps are really cool but you i don't know if you can quite see it over there there's scrolls in here there are potion bottles and scrolls in here several of each and of course i had to get several of these sets because i want all kinds of when people are finding potions and scrolls and stuff as they adventure i want them to have a little tiny scroll with them so i think that covers all of this uh but yeah the boneyard figures that's what i've been waiting on and that just came into my friendly local game store today because that is what my caverns of undeath i'm gonna populate this whole thing with nothing but boneyard figures i'm gonna come up with the stats for them myself this is not a role play well it's a it's kind of a role playing game role playing miniature you know what i do role playing skirmish miniature hybrid come up with my own rules and stuff if you checked out my other video you know what all of this is these updated goods you can go hunting for meat chopping wood growing crops harvesting crops going fishing mining marketplace for each resets i'm not going to go into the whole thing now because we're going to do a whole video on this too and i've already kind of talked about how that works already above ground is where you're going to do your jobs go on quests blah 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 purchase your armor and equipment and prove it all then you start going down through the cavern see how far you can get there's no shame in running back out of there back to the land to start doing more jobs getting your equipment even better and then maybe coming back later to try it all again but that's what this is going to be populated with i decided it's just going to be a completely undead cavern right here boneyard we're going to be unboxing these using these figures to populate the dungeon all right folks i think that's where we're going to leave it because we got a lot of videos to shoot now and that is it all right folks again thank you all so much 15 years i can't believe it and here's to many more i appreciate you all for watching and until next time